This is the Global Economic Commodity Scrap Metal and Recycling Report by our Bentley Roll-Up Trailer and Open Top Trailer, October 12, 2020. U.S. weekly crude oil production rose to 1.48 million tons, the highest in about six months as slow economic growth continues. Crude oil price rose to $40.60 a barrel. Oil prices are still low due to low demand and despite major OPEC and U.S. cuts in production. The U.S. weekly oil rig count rose to 193, the highest in months, but still down 88% from the 2014 high. The slow economy is still hurting demand. U.S. weekly oil production rose to 11 million barrels per day, a multi-month high, but it remains depressed due to low demand. Scrap steel number one heavy melt export buying price Philly was steady at $225 a gross ton as export buying prices weakened and on good supply. Scrap steel number one heavy melt price was mostly steady at $244.87 a gross ton as slow economic growth continues. Hot roll coil steel rose to $32 per hundred weight, a 17 month high on a slight increase in demand along with tight supplies and long lead times. Copper price rose to $3.08 a pound on the president's positive health news and on hopes of added federal stimulus funds. Aluminum price rose to $81.8 cents per pound as the U.S. announced $1.96 billion of tariffs for aluminum sheet on multiple countries for dumping. Cardboard scrap OCC Southeast was steady at $70 a ton as some supply disruptions remain and are good on a good balance of supply and demand. September's Canadian Business Confidence Index fell to 54.3, a major drop due to a major surge in COVID, especially in Quebec. September's U.S. coal mining jobs fell to 44,500 near about a hundred year low. Clean coal high wage jobs remain elusive. There were about 178,000 coal mining jobs in 1985. September's U.S. labor force participation rate, which is people 16 years of age or older that are employed or actively looking for work, fell to 61.4%. So 38.6% are out of the workforce. Millions of people have stopped even looking for jobs. This is a major upside. We must get them jobs and back to work. The U.S. 30-year mortgage rate fell to 2.88%, near the all-time low. If not done in recent years, time to refinance your home mortgage. The U.S. weekly Initial unemployment claims fell to 840,000, but it's the sixth week above 800,000. That points to a slowdown in job recovery. Under 300,000 per week is key to good job growth. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 984 points, the best week since August, as the president said he would like a stimulus plan even larger than either the Democrats or Republicans have already proposed. Gondola trailers by Ben Lee are high strength, heavy duty, and light hard ox walls and floors. 48 foot and 53 foot with 8 foot high walls are the most common. Great for demolition, light iron, and shreddable. Call us for a quote. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions. We hope all have a safe and profitable week.